Good evening. Welcome to Greater Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, I'm Minister Daniel Moden, and I'm here with Sister Tanisha Wiley because, and uh, today on the day set aside for love, Valentine's yeah. Day, we're going to talk about showing loyalty. One of the greatest thing aspects to a day such as this, you know, because one thing that love has to do with is loyalty. So we're going to dive right into it. Our key verse today is, it is coming from Luke chapter 8, verses 1 through 2. And it, and, and it states this, it says, The twelve were with him, and certain, and certain women, which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. And I believe that's where it stops it, right there. And, and then we're going to jump into why this lesson matters, talking about showing loyalty. And this is what it says in the lesson matters. It says, being a truly committed follower is often difficult, but there are persons who reveal consistent loyalty no matter what happens. How do you show your loyalty and faithfulness? Mary Magdalene demonstrated her unwavering discipleship and loyalty to Jesus through her actions. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring this in with the lesson and focus. And it talks about as we reflect, we have likely experienced the death of at least one person who meant a great deal to us. Perhaps we were touched unforgettably by their honorable example, an important sacrifice or gesture of kindness, words of wisdom, lessons for living, or their undeniable love for us. Relationships impact us deeply and some change our lives forever. Whether young or old, male or female, it is hard to let go of those whom we have loved. Mary Magdalene demonstrated her tremendous loyalty for Jesus by her devotion to his ministry and by her presence and sorrow in his death. Jesus affirmed and honored Mary's sincere affection for him by allowing her to be the first person to whom he appeared after the resurrection. And just to have a quick reflection, um, the person that comes to mind is my brother. You know, he fulfilled his purpose here on earth. Absolutely. And um, he touched a lot of us, a lot of lives. And so just to honor his memory and his legacy he lives on, and so and we, we are here, too, to carry out the mission of uh, the legacy that he left as well. Absolutely, absolutely. I think before we hop into this, I think it's good to us to get the definition of what loyal is. Absolutely. Let's, let's, let's get that. The definition of loyal is giving or showing firm and constant support or allegiance to a person or institution. Mm -hmm. So now we're about to hop right into the text. Uh, starting with uh, Luke uh, chapter 8 verses 1 through 3 and then it'll skip over to Mark chapter 15 verses 40 and I'll begin it off in Luke chapter 8 and it says and it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God and the twelve were with him and certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities Mary called Magdalene out of whom went seven devils and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod, Stuart, and Susanna, and many others, which ministered unto him of their substance. Mark 15 and 40 it says, There were also women looking on afar off, among whom was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James, and less of, I want to say, what's that, Joseph or Hoses? Mm -hmm. Joseph? Mm -hmm. And Salome. All right, you want to? Yes, um, and so. One thing that they really brought out in this lesson as far as Mary Magdalene, not confusing her with Mary from Bethany, the sister right. of Lazarus and Martha, Absolutely. okay? Um, at Jesus' command, Mary experienced deliverance from demon possession. And uh, they, in this lesson, they also brought out some things such as depression, right. Um, right. Um, healing from mental illness, suicidal tendencies, or some unidentified uh, physical infirmity. And so we don't really know specifically what demon yeah. uh, Mary was was um, vexed with, but we know that she was delivered from yeah. whatever it is. Right. And just to relate it in today's time, there is so much going on, mm -hmm. you know, with mental illness right. and uh, suicidal uh, tendencies as well yeah. um, and mental health. And if we could just touch the hem of his garment That's or it. make That's our it. way to Jesus, then That's he it. can, you know, he, he can if he healed her. Mm -hmm. He then he can heal anyone. I think one thing also is the uh, before we dive into the reading the rest of the scripture, I think is to understand that 
with Mary, they said it was uh, more than one evil mm -hmm. spirit. They said infirmities. They said yeah. evil spirits. Yes. So that's letting us know that a person could have more going on to them than one or two or three things. Mm -hmm. They can have a lot of things going on with them. So I think that's one thing that we should always, uh, uh, you know, practice humility and understanding that, look, this person could be facing a lot mm -hmm. and dealing with a lot before they came to God. And the beautiful thing about it, and I know it, it will probably... I may be moving ahead a little bit, but the beautiful thing about Mary Magdalene is that um, God used her. You know, Jesus Jesus used her, Absolutely. and um, she was one of the greatest uh, servants of Jesus Christ. And uh, we'll I'm going to pause right there because I am moving ahead. But right. yes, uh, so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and uh, finish up these scriptures real quick. We're going into uh, this would be Book of John chapter 20 verses 10 through 13. And then Sister Wiley, she'll read uh, uh, John chapter 20, verses 14 through 18. Okay. So I'm going to pop it off. In verse 10, it said, Then the disciples went away again unto their own home. But Mary stood without at the sepulchre weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre. And see of two angels in white sitting, the one at the head and the other, other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? She says unto them, because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. Mm -hmm. And after the, cruci the crucifixion, the male disciples returned to their own living quarters in seclusion with each other and with their own families. Right. Whereas, and this is the beautiful part of Mary mm -hmm. Magdalene, um, she remained there at the burial site. Right. Uh, hoping for some clue or answers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we do, we search for answers, you know, we ask those questions, why? Uh, when we lose a loved one, um, and this is just her way of processing her intense grief over Jesus' yeah. death and the mystery of his missing body, okay? Right. And she lingered and she stooped and looked one more time uh, through her tears in that yeah. tomb, right? Right, right. And also what I took from that is, as well is that, you know, she, she, was in the, she was a far off watching Jesus. Yeah. She, yes. was the disciple, she was a follower of Christ, but a far off. She wasn't in the group of the 12. Right. <laughs> but she was far off, and that was, that's humility. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's one thing that we have to learn to practice is that to be humble. The word of God tells us, says, be humble until God exalts us. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that we have to practice. So when she was sitting there watching Jesus all the time, all the way up to the crucifixion, it put her in position. Her humility put her in position to have the honor, mm -hmm. which we're about to read. Right. <laughs> right let's get to what you're about to read in verse 14, if you, 14 through 18, if you want to go through that real absolutely, quick. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. This is John 20, yeah. 14 through 18. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seeketh thou? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said unto him, Sir, if thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said unto her, Mary, she turned herself and said unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told his disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things unto her. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that, that is the position of honor that her humility got her to. Yes. By yes. her being willing to be humble enough to, to sit back and watch from afar off mm -hmm. because we have to realize there's different positions. Uh, that we have, we everybody's not going to be on front. Everyone right. can't be a minister. Everyone can't be a musician. Mm -hmm. Everyone can't, you know, do all these things. Sometimes you got to play armor bearer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. got to be the one that's carrying the books for the ministers. I remember right. that. That's where I started off at. Mm -hmm. I used to, I carried the books for the ministers and stuff like that, and I stayed in that position. Mm -hmm. and, and being in that position, it, it, it rose me up. I learned different things and stuff right. like that. So, like, one thing that we have to understand is that it's not really about the position you have when we when we focusing on Jesus Christ. Absolutely, it's about the mission in Him. Absolutely, and and and, and, and then when we get there, it put us in position to, for God to bless us with the honor that He gave her for her to be the first one, right, to see Him raised, <laughs> right. Uh -huh. So I think that's one thing that we um definitely have to look into. When I was uh when I was studying it, I was like, um, what are the ways that we can be loyal? Mm -hmm. What are ways we can look? What did she show to us? And what I seen with her was that she made her presence known. Mm -hmm. She made her presence known to Jesus, you know, and uh, 
by her making herself present known, that put her in a position to be used by him, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then also I seen that, um, I said, she remembered where he brought her from. Right. He remembered where, yes. she, where he brought her from. And I seen it, I said, wow. I said, I said so you know, another way of how to be loyal to God is always keep your memory mm-hmm. of where he brought you from. Mm-hmm. And through that, that keeps you humble. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, like, in order to be loyal to Jesus Christ, we have to learn to be humble. Uh, we have to learn to remember where he brought us from and always keep ourselves in presence with him. How do we do that? Through prayer, mm-hmm. uh, seeking him, you know, uh, reading his word, always just reaching out for him. Glory to God, he just said, you will seek God. Mm-hmm. He said, you will find him. Right. You know, and I think that's the beauty of this story that she had a heart to seek God. Mm-hmm. And that was how she expressed her loyalty through the seek. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that was deep. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and another thing, just to touch on what uh, what you had stated, yeah. how we can touch as far as our ministries, mm-hmm. how we can touch so many lives using our God given gifts. Um when we work in our ministry, Absolutely. you know, and it's almost like, you know, stay in your lane, you know, right. um, know what gifts to, mm-hmm. that, you know, acknowledge the gifts that he has given you. Right. You know, now I'm a musician. Right. You know, I have, uh, and I can, I can, I love people, you know, as mm-hmm. far as greeting, greeting people, you know, right. but ushering is not my ministry. Right. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. music is my ministry. Yeah. Um, teaching is my ministry. Um, and so it's all about knowing where your gifts are in, right. and working within those gifts yeah. and being loyal, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and giving your all yeah. in, in that ministry. And another thing, too. Oh, gosh, I love this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, one thing that they were saying is um, it is possible to be so distracted by painful or emotions that you miss a significant occurrence, possibly mm-hmm. an angel of God. OK, that's right. And then um, they said, is this possible? That was one of the questions. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, uh, many times we can get caught up in in the grief. Right. You know, but if we keep our eyes on God, Mm -hmm. if we keep our eyes on God, he will continue to lead and guide us, you know, and and help us with that grief. Right. You know, and so she she remained loyal to him. She was there um, just going back in the burial site, right. you know, she was processing her mm-hmm. grief. And then, um, and through her tears, um, she saw those angels, mm-hmm. uh, those two angels that neither she nor the disciples had seen er- earlier. Yeah. And of course, the sight of those angels frightened her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the angels were aware of what Mary did not know, that the time for being fearful and sorrowful had ended, mm-hmm. okay? And then it says, sometimes we are so focused on our despair that we miss the miracle mm-hmm. and answer prayer that God is working out before our very wow. eyes. When you, was, when you were saying that, what came to me is like a question. You mm-hmm. know, like, Lord, how do I stay loyal to you through my grief? Mm. Like, how am I supposed to do that? And I think we a lot of us, ask, you know, ask that question. Coming in from 2020 to 2021, mm-hmm. a lot of people ask the question, Lord, I how do I post that lawyer? All this mm-hmm. stuff happening, you know. Right. Uh, it got the diseases, you know, the corona that came in 2020. We got the we got the losing of loved ones even mm-hmm. throughout of it, you know. Right. And, and, it, and it was such a tough time in 2020 for a lot of people because a lot of people didn't get to make that peace with their loved one. You can't go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. You got to wait until the funeral. You got to wait mm-hmm. until the wait. You can't go and make your peace. You know, it's stuff like that. So it's like they like, how do I stay loyal through that? What you want me to do? Mm-hmm. And then the word of God teaches says it said after you've done all you can all you can do to stand. Mm-hmm. What it say, just keep on standing. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I think that Mary, <laughs> when she was at the at, at the at the at the tomb, right? Mm-hmm. I think that I think that that's what she was doing. She was just standing. Yes. Just like, I don't know what to do. So sometimes you get in positions mm-hmm. and we think that sometimes we can label uh the times of weeping. As moments of, of, of great weakness, but really, it's really a time where you just sit there standing. Yes, I, I, I did all I can do to stand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I, all I have is emotions left. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm waiting for something to come. And then what the angel told you, your, your time of weeping is over, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Jesus came right. and said the same thing to her, yes, right? Exactly. So, so then in, in their position, it's like so. The question, the answer to the question will be. You just stand. Just stand. That's where your loyalty. That's, that's how it. you be loyalty through right. the grief. You stand on. What has already taken place? Because mm-hmm. she had the infirmity that he healed her from. Mm-hmm. He had she had what he told her. Right. He had she heard of what he said. Mm-hmm. You know, by standing behind the disciples, 
Right. She heard it had what he said, so she just had to stand on that. Exactly. So look, when we going through situation, we grieving and, and times get hard. The important thing is to remember where God brought you from. Mm -hmm. Remember what His word said, and just okay. stand on that. That's it. Eyes on come. Jesus. Yeah, that's Eyes right. on that's God. Right. Hey, that's how you do. <laughs> they say you can stand a pool, he can pull you through. You know? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Gosh, uh, this is some good stuff here. Yes. And uh <laughs> I was also uh when I was thinking of uh when I was studying this lesson, what came to my mind was um uh what can God say about our loyalty to him? Mm -hmm. Uh also uh is our loyalty circumstantial? Mm. Wow. Is it circumstantial, you know, um, are we just waiting for the good times to be loyal to God, mm. or or is it or just the the bad times? You know, wow. is that when I'm be loyal to? You? Is that when I read your word? Mm. Is that when I go pray and talk to you? Is that my way of loyalty? Wow. Like who is really loyal? To, is somebody really loyal to you when they only call you when something's going wrong? Mm. No one's really loyal to you like like that. Mm -mm. They just like you know I I accept the benefits you bring. That's it. Right. That's right. it. So I think that one thing you have to recognize like am I being circumstantial towards God? Do I really dive in every day and show him, like, hey, I want to be connected to you? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's one thing I, uh, I'm i learning, too. As I, as I go through life, I'm learning to adopt that mindset, you know, the mindset of, the, like, the scripture in Romans 8, it says, it says for uh, everything everything works together for the good oh, of yes. those that are, you know, that uh, according to the purpose of God. You know, everything works for the good, and, and it's hard to adapt that mindset. Like, even her situation, mm -hmm. all this stuff then broke down, and he mm -hmm. gone, you know what I'm saying? What am I mm -hmm. supposed to do now? Mm -hmm. But, you know, you have to adopt the mindset so your loyalty don't break. Right. So you fake not. You remember right. that? Right, yes. You know, so you fake not, you know? So so that's the, the key thing is you have to... You have to have your mindset on adapting the mindset that, that was in Christ, really. Right, absolutely. That's the thing. Yes, yes. And then just circling back around where it says Jesus spoke to her and asked whom she was seeking and why was she crying. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, get this. Yeah. When Jesus called her by name, mm -hmm. the sound of his voice was suddenly familiar to her. Yeah. That's she beautiful. immediately recognized the voice she has heard. Mm -hmm. Um, and she recognized that it was her beloved Jesus Christ. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then Jesus, he sent, sends Mary to testify right. to others. Yeah. All right. That she had seen him alive. Right. All right. That's and Jesus' beautiful. appearance immediately transformed her, That's her beautiful. sorrow mm -hmm. into excitement and joy. Just oh, right. I'm going to say that again yeah, 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 <laughs> in yeah, case y'all missed say it. That again. It says when he, he visited her, when he appeared to her, mm -hmm. that immediately transformed her sorrow mm -hmm. into excitement and into joy. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes, we go through this sorrow. Mm -hmm. But when we are in his presence, mm -hmm. when we are in his presence, mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. we should have this excitement and this joy, unspeakable joy, um, that, that takes away that sorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, and it says, whether Mary realized it or not, being the first witness of the resurrection was a tremendous what? Honor. Honor, honor absolutely. That was an honor. And when others gave up and left, Mary refused to stop searching for, for Jesus. Mm -hmm. She recognized her persistence mm -hmm. with the privilege of being the one to tell the others that Jesus is alive and well. Mm -hmm. Okay? Will you, oh, 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 like, <laughs> listen, listen, listen to that. It said, will you seek Jesus? Ah. Uh, even when you can't reach him. Mm. Wow. Will you see Jesus? Because we know it's times where yeah. you just feel alone. Mm -hmm. He not speaking back. He letting you sit in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, will you see <laughs> Jesus? That, that that helped me right there because um, about loyalty. Will you see Jesus when you, when you can't reach him? I remember uh, just a personal experience. Uh, a guy came to me and he was like uh, trying to tell me about another belief. And uh, I did what the scripture says. It says you be generous. You be generous to those. Mm -hmm. We talk about other beliefs. You don't just, you know, shut them down. Like right. you just be generous as you talk to them. I talked to him. I told him. I said, "Well, I understand what you believe in." I said, "But when I was in that hospital, mm. praying for my daughter, mm. I said, what your belief couldn't help me.' Okay. I said I had to seek <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I had to seek him and seek him and seek him. And mm. I was seeking him, and I felt like for a minute I couldn't reach him. Mm. But I said I'm gonna seek him. I'm gonna yes. seek him. I'm gonna seek him. And then that, <laughs> then that peace that surpassed understanding right. came. And I said, and that's a beautiful thing. We have to learn to seek God, even when it feels like He's not. He's not talking back. Right. He's not coming back because she like she was seeking. Mm -hmm. Like what's going on? I'm at the tomb. Mm -hmm. What is going on now? What are we supposed to do? Mm -hmm. And 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 Jesus, 
he he's not here. No, and now he gone from the tomb. You know <laughs> what, what? What we supposed to do now? And she right. was seeking, and then that's when I said, when he said Jesus recognized her persistence. Yes, with the privilege of being the one to tell the others Jesus is alive or well. He recognized it. Yes. He said, you yes. so persistent. Mm -hmm. You're going to seek me even when I'm not here? Right. How wow. beautiful is that? Yes. Even when you don't seek me more, you're going to seek me. And we are in the same position yes, with Mary Magdalene because we don't have that privilege to actually see Jesus in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we have the privilege to seek him enough to feel his presence. Right. So that, that's a beautiful <laughs> thing right there. We have to learn to express our loyalty yes. even in hard times what it feels like. Uh, we can't reach him. Mm -hmm. Just know that he's still there. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. And to our young people, you yeah. know, we want to encourage you all to, um, to when when you do feel alone, you oh, know, yeah. when you remain connected with him, you know, we want to encourage you all to just stay connected with him uh, because his presence is there. And I, I think I mentioned this at during a lesson one time before, how um, the teacher never talks during the test okay think about when you're taking a test okay um, does the teacher ever talk when mm -hmm. when you all are taking a test no the no, teacher is silent know. right silent. okay and so um, just just know that but that teacher is there okay right. the, the presence is there mm -hmm. all right and so um, I just want you all to stay persistent okay stay yeah, pers persistent. persistent and not on, only our young people but everybody, everybody. that's watching this this right. evening um, stay persistent, even through all of the stuff that we're going through. Um, just stay persistent. Keep your eyes on Jesus, and, and He will never mislead you. Never, never mislead never you. you. Okay, um, when you're dealing with the grief, um, know that God is still there. Okay, Absolutely. and the beautiful thing again, and I just want to reiterate, when she saw Jesus. Her sorrow turned into grief. I mean, her so sorrow turned into excitement, excitement. excitement. and joy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Absolutely. so when you um, when you stay in His presence, mm -hmm. okay, um, and it, yes, we our flesh, mm -hmm. our flesh it hurts when we lose that loved one. Right. You know, it aches, um, mm -hmm. and and it doesn't. There is no time period. You don't get over it ever. Right. 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 <laughs> um, and so. Uh, but you get through it, and get like you said, it. if God pulls you, mm -hmm. if you can stand the pull, pull, you'll pull you through. he'll pull you through Absolutely. it. Okay, Absolutely. so y'all stay encouraged, stay persistent, yes. and stay loyal. Um, stay and loyal. God will. Um, there's so much peace in that. There's so okay? much peace in the, in the loyalty of Christ. I think uh, this week, uh, I think what the encouragement is from this lesson is it, telling us mm -hmm. to uh, look in ways that we can improve our loyalty. Right. Uh, ask yourself every day if you can. Uh, ask yourself, Lord. Uh, is there any way that I can prove my loyalty to you to make you mm -hmm. feel that I want to be connected? To let you, let you know that I want to be in your presence. What can I do? Uh, whether right. it's in witnessing a devotion, in your service towards others, your obedience, your giving, whatever it is. In any way, you look and see where you can be loyal to God more and more. Because that's the key to life. Mm -hmm. That's the key to life is to create a life that is loyal and, and, and you know, submitful to God. You know that we that we will please him, and that's that's the key to this whole message: is to be like Mary in this situation, <laughs> and be persistent, no yes. matter what what the predicament is, no matter what your position or your role. Is. And then mm -hmm. also, like she said, accept your role, mm -hmm. accept your role. She she had to accept first that she's not the twelve disciples. I'm not the twelve disciples. I'm Mary Magdalene. I'm Mary Magdalene, and for us, well, off what we know, I'm Mary Magdalene who had the infirmities. Mm -hmm. who had the evil spirits and that might be a position you have you know you might have to be like well I'm not a minister uh, I'm not a musician or I'm not an usher whatever you have I am so and so so and so it's like that like me I talk to myself all the time I talk to myself all the time and tell myself I'm not so and so so and so I am Daniel Moda mm -hmm. I, 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 I believe in God I like to study God's word I love speaking it. I love talking about it mm -hmm. that's who I am I, some things I can't talk about I don't have much to say you know, mm -hmm. you, you just accept with who you are, you know, right. and I think that's the key. But you got anything else you want to throw in here before we just, close just it out? Real quick for our <laughs> young people. OK, yeah. um, it says you have friends who need to hear the good news of the resurrecting. OK, use your social media platforms to share the good news. Good news is meant to be shared and the world still still needs to hear it. OK, uh, yes, we hear a lot of, of bad stuff that's going on, but send a 
um, send send a, something positive, mm -hmm. you know, in your social media, okay, um, in your posts, okay. So get on your way quickly, like Mary, and tell others that Jesus is risen, and also that He is getting ready to to return. Okay, God is coming. Jesus is coming back. Okay, um, and so it's important that we uh, get ready. But use those platforms Absolutely. to share this good news. Absolutely. All right, and and uh, stay loyal, stay, stay persistent, loyal. and uh, and that's all that I pretty much have. That's it. So uh, next week lesson will be the risk taker. All uh, right, we're talking about the risk taker, and uh, the devotional reading will be at Colossians chapter four, verses seven through fifteen. And the printed text will be out of Acts chapter 18, verse 1 through 3. And uh, now we will close out in a quick prayer. And Lord, we just want to come to you today asking you that you will give us what we need to remain loyal, to remain faithful to you, Lord. Show us where we have error in our ways and ask you to continue to strengthen us throughout this time. And just teach us how to reach out to you, whatever it is, Lord, through our obedience, through our service, Lord, through our witnessing to others, Lord, we just want to please you and be in connection with you, Lord. We want to be like Mary. We want to be persistent. And we ask you to teach us, Lord, how to be loyal to you, Lord, because you're the only one that we want to be loyal to. And we praise you and we thank you forever and ever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you all for tuning in. You all have a good evening and happy Valentine's Day. Stay loyal. Thank you.